Spirit Quartz with a difference. Um, I quite enjoy these and I'm pleased to be able to do the video. Now let's see if I can pull it off in the video. But typically we have a central quartz crystal surrounded by smaller ones. Now here we have a core quartz crystal and this is surrounded by a lawn of micro, maybe even druzy quartz crystals. But there's a definite underlying botryoidal formation on this section. So maybe a little bit of chalcedony, which is also a quartz formation. And then this again all dusted by druzy quartz. Now the underlying form, the yellowishness to brownishness you see inside the crystals, almost like a halo, would be iron oxides trapped inside the quartzes. See little, almost little balls of quartz sitting on there. I think the 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 uh, formation. This must have come out in late 2022. Uh, I think they call them the blanket quartzes, where you often had little ledges, etc. Now this this particular crystal would be the typical spirit quartz crystal, which has been uh, uh, covered more by a druzy layer. You'll see on the halo there, if you have strong light, you can actually see the underlying form of the original crystal. And then this on the outside appears botryoidal, so most likely maybe some chalcedony sitting on the original crystal and this again coated with a layer of tiny druzy quartz crystals or maybe even chalcedony with an abstract form of quartz it appears. All the way from the home of the spirit quartz, Bukinot Hook, South Africa.